These are northern anchovies, the major food source of almost every major predator on the west coast up here. We've seen this around the world. When these eastern boundary currents all of a sudden are not productive, and then you have a crash in the forage fish. You have starving birds, marine mammals that aren't being fed well, and they'll be starving. Salmon runs will just decline. So everything crashes if the forage fish are not there. This is it. This is buoy 10, just right over there, about 100 yards behind us. This really signifies the beginning of a 15-mile long fishery and the beginning of the journey for salmon as they come back up river. And we always hear about their journey down to the ocean, but what we don't hear much about is what happens when they get to the ocean and spend that three to four years. That's the time that they're, they're growing and really dependent on a strong forage base. There's our target species right there. That's our myrrh! One of the research projects that we have going is we're looking at what these predators are relying on as their food source. So here's a common myrrh right after it's been captured. You can see it's already been very cooperative and regurgitated. Several small fish here, which look to be a mix of anchovy and possibly smelt. This is a non-lethal technique to get stomach samples. Birds naturally regurgitate their stomach contents to feed their chicks. Sport fishermen and commercial fishermen for salmon and tuna and that sort of thing are on the same page on this issue. We need to uh, protect those fish to at least understand the timing and the size of the populations and know that uh, we can take them at certain times in certain numbers without harming our salmon, steelhead, tuna and other larger fish. We're by no means saying let's not fish forage fish. What we're saying is let's make sure we do it in a way that allows for a healthy ocean at the same time as, as meeting the needs that we have. We caught here this morning about a 20 pound upriver bright Chinook salmon. Here's where the adipose was. Uh, that's clipped off. That tells us it's a hatchery fish and we can harvest these without impacting the wild runs. Can't wait to get this on the kitchen table.